Hi, everybody. Thank you for 1,000 subscribers to our wonderful channel. Yes, I'm here too. Thank you for 1,000 subs. Yes, this is, of course, my co-host Matt, also known as Thorin. So everybody should know in the comments when they get a comment from Thorin. That's real inside information, not just some some nerd trying to if trying to a, be like he knows somebody. If it's a blue profile picture with TH in red on it, that's yes. me. Okay, don't be alarmed. It's me. Yes. Because I am the editor of all the videos. But as you see, this is the 1,000 subscriber of Q&A announcement that we that I posted, and I spelt below wrong. <laughs> and I and I and I yeah, roasted him for that. Yep. Yeah. Um. Uh. Well, it's been up for about a day, and we've reached a thousand. And it was at 805, I think, when I posted it. So we made 200 in a day. Woo woo woo! woo. In the we words of our a, We just man. posted episode nine too which got 400 views in a couple hours which is crazy i like that though because episode nine was essentially my episode because i did most of the research for it it was it was so it's kind of an honor script writing though yeah you did the script writing but i did the research yeah yeah then the back rooms for episode nine was pretty long yes it was our longest one 23 minutes almost really yep cutting out the email stuff yeah the email stuff will be a separate video yeah, we'll with post the, yeah. soon onto this channel. Yes, and winning a thousand subs is kind of an honor for me too, considering I'm the editor of the video. So it's kind yeah. of like my it's videos, essentially. Channel. Yeah, but essentially my creations. Yeah, got we've one thousand. Reached sub- about subscribers. we've we gained about nine hundred subscribers in a week, yep. and it's. All thanks to the Mario video, and I'm sure a lot of people have questions about the Mario video later, mm-hmm. as you see in the second comment below, but we'll get to that in just a minute. Um, the point of this video is to thank you all for the support that we've been given and to answer your questions. Yeah, and I would also like to give a personal shout out to Dead Rabbit Radio. Yeah, yes. I I emailed him and he mailed, yeah. he emailed me back and he gave us some some uh suggestions and stuff to help grow our channel and I really yeah. appreciate that. And I think Gabe does too. So he, I do, yeah. He um I'm sure someone will ask about inspiration, so I'll keep it for later, but should we get into comments now? Questions? Yes, let's go. All right. Yeah. So, starting from Mr. Carbon Mister. Were were you aware how you were playing the game of YouTube when you posted the Mario Conspiracy video, and were you ready for the influx of traction from the video? Um, I'm assuming by meaning playing the game of YouTube is like kind of posting something popular. Yep. Maybe or like just or posting, just posting videos in general. I think. Um, I would say not exactly. The point I originally found the Mario conspiracy was early on in the in the life st- st- like span it's still living obviously but really early on and i saw the potential of the topic so i went with it and we really benefited from it mm-hmm. yeah like i just kind of was like yeah this is gonna be big so i should probably make a video about it and maybe we'll get a couple hundred views or something like that but yeah. then you know things became a lot bigger and with the influx of traction for the most part it's kind of a double-edged sword like at first at least because i kind of kind of suck to get some hate comments once in a while but like whatever it's fit, like i'm glad there weren't any hate comments that i saw for you matt but yes. i'd prefer them going towards me because i feel like i'm your boss so i'd prefer the 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 trash to be thrown at me as being a boss over a worker but like hey, honestly comebacks too you know did you did no, you really? no but i got comebacks if oh. i get any hate oh yeah but like I don't, I got over it pretty fast. It's like whatever. I'm never gonna see this person ever again. I'm sure if they didn't like the video, they weren't gonna watch anything else. But like mm-hmm. comments that are in the other videos are a lot more supportive, and mm-hmm. it's cool. But I'm very appreciative of all the subscribers we've reached so quickly. And at first, like I was kind of 
overwhelmed, but I've started riding the tide over time, and I'm now into it, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. I just turned on a fan, if you hear anything in the background. Oh. Is it my turn to answer? Yes. All right. Where, was I aware how I was playing the game of YouTube? I was not. I thought I, I thought we were just posting videos. It was actually Gabe's idea to make this, and we mentioned that in the Backrooms podcast. Yep. He texted me, or snapped me, and was like, hand down on the table. We are doing this one. And he actually took a picture of himself putting his hand on the table. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay. Was I ready for the influx of traction? Okay, this is kind of a... This is a double header. Yes, I was ready for the traction, and no, I wasn't. Let me explain. I was not expecting it to blow up like it did. Yep, me too. The way Gabe put it, he was like, this is how we're going to get out there. And I was like, all right, all right. Maybe. And I didn't know it would blow up like it did. Yep. Like, I didn't think we'd be doing this already. Mm -hmm. This 1,000 sub special. Yeah, I, I didn't think we'd be doing this. Maybe get like 500 in a week or something, or at most 1,000 in the first week. I didn't expect 45, I think, almost to this point, yeah. 45,000 views up to one week. Mm -hmm. And we are not the most popular video anymore. Yeah. Well, actually. I think we're the most popular one describing it, but not, yeah. but not like in general. The, like there's videos the, of the beta, and those have more. We're the more. biggest. We're the biggest, like analysis of it. Yeah, which is an honor in itself. So yeah. basically, I'm my really answer is yes and no. The voice of liberty says, "I have two questions. One, what inspired you to start the Going Obscure series? And two. Was the every copy of Super Mario 64's personalized video a strategic move, or one made out of pure interest and curiosity? We'll let Gabe go first. Okay, yeah, sounds good. Um, the inspiration... Oh, got the mouse in the way. Um, the inspiration... Tisk, tisk. It wasn't a specific YouTube channel, but I think I got the inspiration from that conspiracy theory iceberg. I just ran into it one day, and... I, thought, I saw so many interesting ideas like I thought to myself like I could make some videos about that and maybe make a series I don't know where the title came from again I remember it was originally supposed to be getting obscure but going obscure sounded better yep <clears throat> um and with but afterwards I guess in a way we were inspired by Dead, Dead Rabbit Radio but that was kind of like a chicken and egg situation where we found it after we started the series yeah. or found him mm -hmm. so it was, he was more of like a support I suppose but there isn't a specific place where it came from except for the conspiracy theory iceberg we just kind of I, I don't know exactly maybe you know more but we'll get to it in just a second but mm -hmm. with number two um, it wasn't exactly a strategic move. It the Super Mario 64 video was pure interest. I was really into the topic at the time when we first found it. I've kind of worn out of it now because I've been thinking about it all week. Yeah. But it was kind of both. It was I I knew that it was going to be a topic that would get pretty popular, so I wanted to make a video about it. But I was also very interested in doing it, and I wanted to look into it more. So I think that's everything I have to say about that. Okay. And for me, what inspired me to start this series, uh, honestly, it's just kind of a freak thing that happened that I mm -hmm. got roped, roped into this. Well, you were the best choice I had for video yeah. maker because we have pretty similar ideas of mm -hmm. video making. So we're pretty good at, like, working together so and you're a good editor anyway so yeah so essentially the inspiration was gabe sent me that iceberg and was like mm -hmm. hey maybe i can start a series off this and i was like you know i can help you with one episode you should do paul is dead and i yeah. thought i would just be in that one episode and then all of a sudden i'm the co-host and the editor yeah. so yeah and here we are 1000 subs later yeah and then the the second question is basically just Gabe's thing. I just went with it. 
I didn't have anything to do with the research. People emailing me. I didn't have anything to do with the research. That was mm-hmm. all Gabe. And I just no narrated the research. And that's and I edited the video, and that's all I had to do with it. So that's really none of my doing. However, the Simpsons real radiation footage, that mm-hmm. was my doing. Yep, that was... Not my script making, but that was my... We're both big Simpsons fans, but you're more of the one big into this topic. Yeah, I have I recently watched the entire series, all 30 <laughs> seasons, on, <clears throat> all 30 seasons on Disney Plus, so, yeah. All right. <clears throat> I know a thing or two about the Simpsons now. That's good, that's good. From the Ultimate Crafter, it's, uh, what's the name of the record at the beginning of go- your Going Upscare episodes? Um, you are interested in doing this one, but yes. I'll start with what the actual song is that we use. It's mm-hmm. um, The Caretaker. That's the name of the uh, album, but it's like, oh, I don't remember what it was. It was like everywhere and nothing at the same time. I don't remember exactly. Could you yeah. search it up really quick? Yeah, I have it on my computer. Okay. What's the name of it? Again. Let's take a look here. I just got to go into... Um, we found, or I always found that album so interesting, so eerie, but like nostalgic at the same time. I thought it was be, it would be such a good um, song to fit in our series. Yeah, and I like the Caretaker, so it is great. Yeah. So, so what's the name about, of the record? Yeah, tell us about the record in the famous intro that you used to film that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wish. It was a Caretaker record. If they made Caretaker albums on vinyl, I would buy one. That was my turntable, by the way. Yep. That you're seeing there? That's my stereo, She's, and that's my she setup. Yes, the better turntable, anyway. Yeah, it's from, like, the 1980s, and it's in mint condition. Don't mean mm. to flex or anything, but that's How much truth. was that? I got it from my grandpa for Christmas. Oh, okay. It was his, but it's, like, in perfect condition, so... That's cool. Yeah, but the record on there was actually... <clears throat> so... I wanted to use a record with a white uh, inner circle sticker thing, mm-hmm. and all of my rock rock music re- vinyls don't have those. Like they're yeah. typically black, or they have a picture. This was a Raffi record. Now Raffi was a children's. Uh, guitar player and songwriter i don't know if he's still alive or not i hope he is because i used to listen to him when i was growing up and this is one of the records i had when i was growing up there's a picture of it or a video of me showing it on the screen i'm going to record that in post but obviously gabe can't see that right now but yeah (laughs) yeah, uh it's a raffi record raffi album i think our first any like media we made for this series was our intro wasn't it yep i made it it was it it originally had a different font i didn't like the font yeah you didn't like font font, called rush actually we wanted to do a different font so we have the font we have today yep the font is called matrix you can download it on freefonts.com it's not a default font you got to search pretty far to find it i went through several pages (laughs) pages to find you that went to page two man geez no i went to like page eight to mm. find that one and i went through some weird fonts you know if you look down the conspiracy theory iceberg at the way bottom it's page eight of google from clickbait what? and nightcore oh yeah comes do you guys get scared of by wario i'm so scared of wario i'm scared of wario i shake and cry every time i play mario 64 because i'm afraid of wario yeah, That's all I'm, I'm, say. Mario is kind of a creepy guy because I watched a video once where this like 14 year old girl called Wario, and it was like really it, like I don't know how it would be fake. Yeah, it was like so real, and he basically said that he was gonna come to her house and skin her dog. Jesus, like That's skin, skin the dog. God, like, that's messed up. It is messed up. You guys stay up. careful out there. Warrior's out there, probably. He is. All right, from uh, Maximilian. Uh, did you take inspiration from anyone, and if so, who? Uh, not exactly. We, like mentioned earlier, we it was like a chicken and egg situation where mm-hmm. it wasn't directly inspired by any channel. I guess 
if you could say it was inspired by the general idea of like those horror channels that you can find on YouTube, like, uh, like chills. yeah, chills, uh, Nexpo, Rainbot, like legitimate scary channels, not just you know number fifteen. Most amazing stuff. top ten. That's not a horror channel. They yeah. do horror videos though. Do they? Oh, some. Oh. I, you could say that we're inspired by like genuine channels, but we do. If I'm gonna say I'm inspired by anybody, I'm gonna say it's uh, Dead Rabbit because he's the closest channel to the idea we have. But he's more like a loose podcast channel, while we're mm-hmm. more like a like a serious on like, oh, this is a real topic until we get to the rebuttal, and then we're like, nah, this is fake. And some people, you know, they never get to the end and they don't realize that we're not actually believers of the topic. So they think that we're actually think these are real things. Yeah, they think we're idiots. Yeah, but that's okay. You can believe that if you don't watch the whole thing. As for my inspiration, basically just the top ten horror channels. Mm -hmm. That's what... I haven't watched any in a long time, but I used to be, like, big into them. Yeah. I haven't watched them in a while. They got kind of old because I watched almost all of them. So, like, I knew Mm -hmm. so much stuff. Yeah. But, yeah, I got interested in, like, abandoned building videos. Yeah. That's, I think that'll be a question later, so I won't, I won't, I won't say it right now. Okay. That, uh, basically, I just took inspiration from, uh horror channels yeah the big inspiration was the conspiracy theory iceberg without that iceberg we wouldn't be here today yeah we would have no ideas yeah <clears throat> sorry we'd basically be all uh all puff and smoke pretty say. much yeah thank you maximilian from shadow dog stories how do you find all the topics for the going obscure videos love your channel love your channel oh. too Right, right, but, right. Yeah, yeah. Courtesy. Thank you. Courtesy. We do thank you for the compliment. The like mentioned, the big finding topics we've used is uh, the conspiracy theory iceberg. Mm-hmm. Some of them I just oh. thought up on my own, but those yeah. come in season or, two. Those aren't what, here yet. What we do, what we originally did when we were setting up season one was. We just kind of scrolled through the topics of that were the titles that were mentioned in the iceberg, and we would name off the ones we were interested in, and we'd talk to it, and just what do you call it? Um, just Rule choose the ones the we ones both we want to do. Want. But in the other hand, we also either found them by accident, like the Mario one. We replaced the original episode eight, which was going to be skeletons on the moon, mm-hmm. to Mario sixty four. And um, we also just knew the topic, like Chernobyl creatures I knew off the top of my head. And the blue... P- was Fresno a pretty... Nightcrawlers I knew. Yeah, Fresno was yours that you mentioned. Yeah, I did that whole thing. Like that Paul, whole video. Paul is dead, we already knew. Yeah, that one didn't come from the iceberg for me anyway. Or it was on the top of the iceberg, yeah, but we already knew right, about it, it beforehand. So. But um, the other big one you're supposed, to, or we've been told by Dead Rabbit to do, is just scroll through different like places, like subreddits, um, X or X board of 4chan, just anywhere like that. Very new, obscure things would come from. Uh, from Barn Bob, is there anything you want to cover, have wanted to cover, that you won't actually do for some reason? Um, want to cover or have wanted to cover? That, um, that we won't actually do. Well, the one that I can think of is the skeleton on the moon. We were originally going to do that because it seemed interesting, but I was pretty disappointed when I started doing the um, script for it because most of the evidence was from a fake news or magazine mm-hmm. place, so... We just switched that one out, but I can't think of any topics that we won't do. Yeah. At least, not yet. I'm sure there there will be topics. I guess. Yep. If we find if there's something too well known, we'll not do it. 
Yep. Maybe. I don't know. As for... Are you done? Is that your answer? Yeah, I think so. Okay. As for me, anything I want to cover, I would like to cover, like, 2020 as a whole. But yeah, it's kind of a loaded... True. Kind of a loaded topic, and that could be a big. I think we can, yeah. I think we can save it. I think we can save that. About yeah, we could save it. But that is something I want to do because there's a lot of stuff going on right now. A lot of lot of conspiracies out there. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff we could talk about from there. Look into them, boys. We should should wait till the year is over before we make that one. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Too soon. Yeah. Because maybe they'll already be like debunked by the end of the year, and then we can just look back and laugh and be like, yeah, remember that? Yeah. Yeah, we'll see, though. Okay. All right. Next question from Chisas Crace. <laughs> okay. Is that the is that Squidward? On yes, the it is. It's from Band nice. Geeks. Nice. I like it. Man of quality. Very good, yes. Hey, been here since the Paul's Dead video. Nice to see people stay in. Yeah, it's just it's, nice to see loyal people, and I quite cool enjoy to see people from all the way back. Mm-hmm. And I quite enjoy this video series so far. Seeing you cover the Mario sixty four thing was nice too. My question to you is, what are your plans for the future? Are you going to do a Halloween special? Anyway, thanks for the cool vids, and hope to see more going obscure. Thank thanks you. Thanks for the comment. Um, we do have season two planned already. We have it all. Uh, not written out, but we have the title, the title, the entire um, season, like the titles and the topics. Um, we don't have a specific Halloween special planned out. We but could though. That that'd be cool. That'd be. We could think of something. Um, I have some ideas. I'll at some time. Bring yeah. Them to you later, but okay. But we always take suggestions. Um, if anybody's interested in suggestions, mm-hmm. um. But, yeah, I th- we do have plans for the future. We have season two planned, and I plan on hoping to set up season three soon. And I'm kind of hoping that we can do more episodes in season three. Maybe yeah. we could have more support by then Possibly. to like, have people help out. Mm-hmm. So as for me, my plans for the future, I want... Potentially, we're going to get a collab with Dead Rabbit Radio. Hopefully. That's on the... Cool. That's out there. And I'm possibly... Possibly with Defunct Land. That's if all I'm going to say about that. That's all if I'm we say can about get that. them around. Yeah, if we can get them around, which yeah, would be we're, amazing. We're, in Season 2, we're, tr- we're trying to expand our horizons, basically. We, we don't want to be just conspiracies. We want to be anything obscure, so it could be... Um, obscure movies, video games, TV comics, shows, TV books. shows, um, <clears throat> books, anything obscure is mm-hmm. on the table. Our, I guess season one was more f- like for the, the scary and, and conspiracy type things, but it's time to like expand the horizons, I guess. Yup. And as I already said for the Halloween special that I have ideas but yeah. won't won't bring those up now because I think if they're good and they're gonna stick, then it should be a surprise. From Sonic X two 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 two, what was your favorite topic to cover on Going Obscure so far? I'll let you go first because I can't think of it off the okay. top of my head just now. Easily Chernobyl creatures. Okay. That that one's by far my favorite. That and Fresno Nightcrawlers. I think. Mm. I think Chernobyl Creatures was just so, like, some of it was true, which was cool, like the catfish thing, but also the the, the Mothman, or whatever it was, was just cool to look into, because yeah. creepy things like, like things in, of the air mm-hmm. scare me, and I think I mentioned that in the back rooms a while ago, but giant yeah. things in the air, like the Not Thunderbird, the <laughs> like the Thunderbird, which is, like... The yeah. size of, what, like, 20 feet wingspan? Mm-hmm. That's, like, terrifying to I'm me. the complete opposite. I'm scared of the things that are in the ocean that are big. Like the bloop? Like the bloop, yes. Yeah, and then I liked Fresno Nightcrawlers because I knew about it, and I just, I've always wanted to, like, there. in a way, I used to believe in it mm. back when I was a young pipsqueak. I used to believe in it, 
and it was fun to believe in it because I used yeah. to just I go to the lake every summer mm-hmm. and I brought a friend there once and we were sitting on like this ledge like there's this like overpass that just looks on the lake and like the woods and I was like what if we see some night crawlers tonight ooh scary and uh, it wasn't scary though I thought it would be cool yeah but yeah those those two were my favorite okay um I had a lot of fun making the Mario 64 one okay. at this point I'm kind of worn out of it but like I'm glad it's still there but with the earlier episodes I would say I really like the Texas still walker because it's such a mysterious one mm-hmm. it's it's the just, definition of obscure it's literally like the only there's only like three different sources of it existing at this point so including i think including us I, now including us that's four so i would say yeah texas still walker if i want to go like the smaller scale episodes yeah i'll read the next one it's eric hicks says dude yes dude yes indeed mm-hmm all right. From Epic Face, which has a picture of the guy in the wheelchair from Family Joe Guy. Swanson. I can't think of the name. Joe Swanson. Sure. So <laughs> he says, what is your favorite animal and fish? Also great content. Thank you. Yes, thank um, you. Favorite animal. I like, I like foxes. I like cats. And favorite like fish. something else. What's your favorite fish? Favorite fish. Whew. Favorite fish to eat? Or favorite just fish? Maybe to eat. I don't, I don't eat fish often, but I do like salmon. Salmon's, Salmon's good. good. Fish. Salmon's Tasty good. fish. Salmon's but good. as like just a living creature, I like... I guess I like sharks. God. No, I'm just kidding. I cod like is, cod is good cool. though. Cod is good. Cod? I don't. I don't think I've really had them. I don't eat much fish. Cod is like the fish you get at like any any uh, fish sandwich yeah. from a restaurant, but it's yeah. amazing. My favorite animal has got to be like a wolf. Wolves are cool. Yeah. But like a like uh, why can't I think of what it's called? I've seen one up in the woods. Yeah, I go in the woods a lot. You didn't know that about me. Mm. But when I was in the woods, I saw one once, and it was the most amazing thing ever. It's a coyote? It was a, no. No, it was a, a... the When you look up wolf, it's like the one with the white face, but like with the, the black around the face. It's like a great white. Not a great white, but it's like t- Tasmanian. No, not Tasmanian. Okay. Siberian Siberian wolf or something. I don't know why why I can't think of what it's called, but I saw one once and it was amazing and that's my favorite animal. Yeah. And my favorite fish is a seahorse. There you go. Seahorses I forgot I think those they're really existed. cool. I think they're really cool. I completely forgot those existed. They are really cool. Alright. Seahorses are amazing. Yeah. You don't believe me? Turn the video off. Because yeah. that means you're playing with my emotions. So from Alex XXIV, so 2015. 20, it's 20, 2014. 2016. 24. 24. It's, it's not 20, no, it's 24. Or 26. No, 6 is VI. Oh, yeah. Sorry. 24. Alex Christian 24. Thinking, I was thinking IV goes like the V is after, whatever. Mm-hmm. I, I'm a complete idiot. It's Alex uh, 2014. Uh, what do you like to do that is not YouTube? Great content, by the way. Thank you. Um, yes, thank you. I'm big into writing. I like to write books. Mm, I, me too. I'm writing a series. I I hope to become or have that as my job maybe one day if my books get popular. But I also, I also do some drawing. I'm not very good at it. I also... I did work, but I'm not working right now. But you didn't like to do that. I don't like to do that, actually. Never mind, you're right. I do a lot of reading. I read a lot of Star Wars books. I own a lot of Star Wars books. Mm-hmm. And... What else do I do? I don't know. 
All right. Yeah. So what do oh. I like to do that's not? Oh. I listen to music. I like music. Oh yeah. I like to eat too and breathe. Oh yeah. And drink. Drink water. And drink. Drink water too. And empty it at the end of the day. Yes. Do I bodily like, functions. I like breathing in oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide sometimes. That's fun. That sounds like fun. Anyway, what you done? Yes. Just making sure. Well, what do I like to do that's not YouTube? I like to drum. I'm a drummer. I'm in a band. In a band that's not going anywhere. <sighs> Even though our singer thinks we are, but we're not. Oof, duh. We're not. I'm going to quit. Oof, duh, dude. But I just, like, I just like drumming, though, in general. It's fun. It's a way for me to like let off steam. Uh, I also like to write. I'm writing a book series. I started mm. writing the book series before Gabe, so I'm not copying him. Technically. I'm Technically, not even yes. copying you. What? Our, our books are completely different ideas. I know, I know, I know. But, like, uh, what else do I like to do? I like to collect computer parts and mm. test them out. Yeah, you built my own computer for me, actually. Yeah. The one I actually I'm on have a now. series that's going to go on the Thorin channel eventually yes. about testing out computer parts. I nice. only have three episodes done so far, and maybe I'll just upload those. Who knows? Mm. I probably should. They don't have to be in a set. Yeah, go ahead. No. I have, I've had them done since, like, last year, so Jeez. maybe it's time to upload them. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and I also like to... I like making videos. I don't like coming up with ideas for videos, because that's why my channel's kind of lacking right now. That's my job to do. But I have ideas right now for <coughs> videos for my channel. They're just really big, including a movie that's coming out this summer that Gabe is a small cameo in. Yes, I do. Yeah, that's small true. Small cameo, but... Play the uh, president. Yes, which he played in the movie before. Yeah. The 25 people have watched it. Not very many, but... Yeah. We should put a link in... I'll pin a link to the video today. Link to Whitney once Houston's this comes I Will up. Always Love 2. And then Whitney Houston's I Will Always 1, 2, 3 is coming out this summer. We're going to start yes. filming soon on Thursday. For real. For real. From Logan Perkins. Any more video game conspiracies? Not conspiracies, but we do have two video game videos coming out next season. I won't go in depth of what video games, but they're both very obscure very big hidden gems mm -hmm. but it is video games not exactly conspiracies though yep um one of the video game topics is gabe's and one is mine so yep. gabe's kind of borders more on the the obscure side of things and mine's more on the creepy side mm -hmm. but also obscure because it's not that yeah. creepy but you know yeah yeah, it's that's just very historical. Yep. Historical, okay. both of them. Next right. question is going to be a difficult one. To... <laughs> okay, so it's Saeed Akir Akra Ahmed, Ahmed and Shaka Khaled. Khaled. There I go. got that, okay. Uh, yep. Sorry if I butchered your names. Uh, it's a long name. Like... Or no, is it two people? It's two names. Yeah. Two people. What is your favorite obscure video? So I'm going to assume it's any obscure video at all because mm -hmm. you know we answered that earlier but yeah or the actual videos of ours obscure video um i can't think of any i have mine if you yeah go ahead all right so back in sixth grade i used to be subscribed where i still am on my other youtube channel that i don't use anymore but mm -hmm. i was subscribed to a guy named as the unknown photographer Okay. And his channel is amazing, by the way. I recommend checking it out. But <clears throat> he's he goes into abandoned buildings, and he explores them. Yeah, you told he's me an about urban that. Ex he was an urban explorer. But there's yeah. this one video that, like, it's so weird. He was in this abandoned uh, insane asylum, creepy enough yeah. on its own, but he opens up this door into this stairwell, and you yep. can just hear this, <laughs> like this noise. <laughs> And mm -hmm. and then they're like whispering to the sh to each other. They're like, "What is that? What is that?" And then he slams the door by mistake, and then it just stops. Okay. And then and then he goes just like, the "It stopped when I slammed oh. the door." 
Yeah, that's and scary. It could have just been a pigeon. That's what people are saying because pigeons make really weird noises. I would yeah. know they show up at my job all the time. Oh yeah. But yeah, it's just a really weird video, and I still remember it to this day. Okay, that's cool. Um, that's a difficult question for me because I can't. All videos, a lot of videos, just blend together because I watch so many, so much YouTube at this point. Mm -hmm. But I like, I can't think of a specific video, but I like, I like smaller channels, I guess you could say. I like, um, I like ab abstract horror videos, I guess, that are like smaller scale and stuff you know like the artsy ones you can find on youtube and stuff I was like just let's to... make a friend yeah remember that video <sighs> it, it's I... like a 90s cartoon but it's okay. like super messed up i'll have to watch it eventually yeah you should it's um kind of creepy the only big like smaller channel i can think of that i'm really big into is moose goose i showed you him like yeah, you did. a few weeks ago, but yeah, he's pretty cool. He's like I think a hundred thousand subscribers, which is pretty big, but pretty small compared to like the big guys around. Mm -hmm. But I'd say that's the closest big obscure channel I like a lot. He does a lot of obscure content too. Yeah, which I find really cool. And yeah, I think that's what I had to say. From Gabriel Frutos, you share a name. Oh boy. <laughs> Why are you making your videos in episodes and seasons if every if every episode is different? Can't they just be videos? Mm -hmm. Well, I can I'll explain. Let, this. I'll let you answer cuz that's yeah, it was your decision. So, it was my it was my decision to make them in seasons. So, going obscure, I want it to be more of an organized thing and like so it's not like here's one video and then a month later here's another video. If we upload once a week and make it in seasons, it'll be like a lot more like easier for people to find the video they want. They'll be like, "What was that one video? Oh yeah, it was in season. It was in season 3. And it was episode 6 because each episode is going to be numbered 1 through 10 instead of like 1 through a million or whatever. So that you can easily find it. And eventually, I think we should start putting in the description that this is season 1 episode blank. Yeah, sure. Because if they just find it by mistake. Maybe what we could do is like going obscure dash S3 E4 yep. and then the colon. Yeah, or S colon or S colon 1 again. E colon yeah. 6 or whatever. Yeah. But um, yeah, so it's basically just an organization thing because I, I kind of have OCD and I want everything organized. Like Gabe today, he titled the video correctly. But not every word was capitalized, and that was annoying me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, even, I don't know, it's just a thing I have going. Like, he he mixed up the colon and the dash on several videos, and I was like, Two no, of it's, it's, it's going obscure, Col dash, episode 6, colon. Not I going just obscure, colon, too, episode 6, to, dash. I got it down now. Yeah, you do. But, uh, yeah, it's basically for my sake and for the sake of people to easily find more videos. So it's just an OCD thing. Yeah. Pretty... Sure, they're different episodes, but I just, I like, I like structure kind of things. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So from Lobo Man, Panchico, Death Metal was real? Yes. I don't know what that is, but. Yes. Yeah. From Panini. What are your future plans for videos and maybe even the channel? We have seasons planned out or going to be planned out. We're going to work on them during our break between season one and two. So we yep. just have more time to work on them rather than what we're doing now is basically just like a week long process to kind of like daisy chain between episodes pretty much. Mm -hmm. And um, we do have plans for some smaller scale videos at least two between this season right now at least mm -hmm. pretty much that's it basically what gabe said that's my answer yeah so from donado z 
is going obscure focus more on the horrifying horror side of things or does it occasionally do dig into soft stuff softer stuff if so maybe you should look into mike homel who homels mobile games they're very obscure now after being so well known when they first came out um this first season was very much horror related Mm -hmm. but i really want to work on going more just broad obscure like obscure can have like a horror element to it but not everything that's obscure has to be scary pretty much yep it can be weird and not be scary but maybe i'll look i'll look into that sometime soon mm-hmm. and sounds interesting yeah maybe we could do it eventually but yeah. i'll just look into it in the next few days yep and like gabe said we're gonna move into softer stuff next season yep and we, we don't what we to. think but we don't want to be typecast. We're yeah, still but doing don't don't next. make this don't make this seem like we're gonna just like give up on it completely. We're gonna be Teletubbies now. Yeah, we're still gonna do the stuff, the, and it's gonna the be the majority, same content, gonna be the, the same ma- format. The majority of next season is still pretty creepy conspiracies, but we're sprinkling in more just obscure media. Yeah. We're putting more wisps, wisps, wisps of wisps yeah. of softer stuff in there. Yeah. Shout out to Enhanced Mob, who said which YouTuber you got inspiration to make your channel. We already answered that, but thanks for commenting anyway. And we love you. We love you. Yes, we do. So anyway, from T-Man TX10, do you enjoy covering things like cryptids, or do you prefer covering online topics like the Mario 64 stuff? By the way, you're you're criminally underrated, and I hope you can get your fantastic content out there. Thank, Thank you. you. Um... I prefer the online topics because that's I feel like that's more personal. Like some like Bigfoot, like eh, it's just somewhere some gorilla in the woods. I'll never be personally related, but like some like Mario sixty four, I feel more like I'm personally connected in it because I have like a close reach to it. So I would say the online topics I find more interesting, but I do still like cryptids because cryptids are close to my heart. Yep. I, I more enjoy covering cryptids. That's why my episodes, my favorite episodes, involved cryptids. I, I like the obscure internet stuff. That's cool. Like the Simpsons episode we just did, that was uh, that was fun to make. But I still prefer like creepy cryptids, like one of a kind creatures that are you don't even know if are real or not. That's just yeah. cool to me. God player, I should say, mm-hmm. uh, commented. I got an idea for a video game rumor. And I said, please elaborate. I think you should do Waluigi is Dead and Luigi's Luigi. Mansion for the Waluigi. GameCube. No, or, Waluigi. Did I say Waluigi? Well, I said yeah, Luigi. You said Waluigi. Oh, Luigi. Um, I feel like the Luigi's Mansion, like Luigi's Dead thing, is too well known. Like we had a it's relation. It's literally in the thumbnail for yeah, it's similar Mario to the, 64. So unfortunately, we're probably going to have to skip that one because it's been uh, mentioned often in yep. on youtube so but thank you for the suggestion anyway yeah and, and got then from thorn bellow. comes bellow which was just me roasting and i said roasting gabe here oof and then i said i let you edit one video and look what happens tisk tisk so yeah oof yeah Aliyah velasquez says e what happened to all the likes on it oh know. no that was on the other video never mind yeah nice channel what music do you like? Also, let's build each other up. Ooh. Ooh. Let's actually say what so music you like. So this is definitely a hacked channel, by the yeah. way. But yeah, like the question is still valid. Yeah. The also, this is, is a hint. Valid. But let's let's still answer this. Um, I we have similar music tastes, but kind of the kinda, big sorta. the big band we I like is Led Zeppelin with Hard Rock. Or, like, not hard rock, but, like, classic, classic rock. But I'm also a big fan of modern music. I like modern alternative music. Like The Strokes. I like The Strokes a lot. And I like Interpool. I like Tame Impala. All those guys. Yeah. Uh, and I dabble into a little rap once in a while. So, as for me, it's kind of polar opposites i mean i'm 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 big classic rock like mine's more old stuff i'm 
probably a, I'm a huge Beatles fan just so you know Gabe like Zeppelin I like Beatles mm-hmm. but uh I'm like a big I still like the Beatles I'm a big progressive rock like Dream Theater and Rush or uh I don't really I don't listen to rap at all mm-hmm. not at all but uh I don't listen to pop pop is stupid yeah and modern alternative it's okay but it all seems kind of the same to me I like uh Jimmy world they're good or um the offspring they were pretty good okay but uh that's that that those are my music tastes basically classic rock progressive rock yeah and yeah that that's my story for music music is great it i is love great. music it is great I didn't, I didn't mention this to you but i watched a movie the other day i only watched like the first 20 minutes but the you intro the music the intro music was uh the band cigarettes after sex which i love so much never heard of that really... band before yeah exactly so like an indie rock kind of they're more like an indie sad <laughs> oh i got a i got a big friend who's into radiohead yep radiohead them. i don't really like them i like radiohead they have like one good song creep and that's it <laughs> oh you're a creep head huh <laughs> that's the only huh. one i like that and oh. uh fake plastic trees is good yeah those are both pretty good but uh that's it for radio yeah, for me okay I think that's everything we had to say for this q a i want to thank everybody for sending or sending out comments asking us questions yes. we're always happy to answer any questions anybody has mm-hmm. we want to be very um what do you call it active open. on our channel open on our channel we want to be we want to be your friend and if gabe's not active then i sure will be yeah you got two chances you'll you see got my channel which you please respect my channel because I'm one of the creators. Please don't be like, and who are you? Or just like, don't respond and be like, this is just some random kid. Yeah. Thorin is me. He Thorin is, is me. Yeah. Okay, Thorin is me. Yes. Please. I am one of the creators, so. Yes. Maybe one, one day, if we get enough subscribers, I can talk to YouTube and be like, can you make my name bold? Since <laughs> I'm the creator of this video. Yo, YouTube headquarters, can you make my channel gold? <laughs> Yo, what's up, YouTube? YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. You got a hundred boy named Rosebank. You were super official. Food review. Can you dig it, baby? I know you can. Hey, listen, man. I don't even know what you're saying. Five guys, burgers, Any... burgers and fries. I think that's about everything I we don't have do to fruit. say. Again, like I mentioned earlier, this is a big thank you for everybody that took the time out of their day to ask ask us a question. And we're happy because we reached a thousand subscribers today around eight o'clock, nine mm-hmm. o'clock. And yeah. I remember seeing it at one thousand or nine hundred and ninety nine, sorry. Yeah, I did too. I saw it at nine hundred and ninety nine and I was like, any second now we gotta reach a thousand. Did you take a, a picture thousand. of it? No. Oh, you should have. That would have been I'm cool. gonna get an email eventually that's like, Oh, good job guys for a thousand. No, because I have a I have a YouTube channel that has three thousand views, probably three thousand subscribers, it. and I didn't get a email. You probably missed Actually, it. Actually, I can check after this, after the after this video, I will check. Yeah. But anyway, thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts to the top of our hearts. Yeah. Thank you. In the most thank sincere you. way. Thank you for staying curious with us. And we will be back next season. There's going to be a bonus episode after episode 10 that comes out. Stay tuned for yeah. that. Yeah. Thank you all. Have a good day. Bye. Join us again next time. When you once Boom. again go obscure. Go obscure.